Former Vice Chancellor of Ladoke Akintala University of Technology, Ogomosha Professor Michael Ologunde, is advocating more funds and infrastructure development of public schools in Nigeria. He says this will produce students that can compete favorably with their counterparts across the globe. Professor Ologunde stated this at the handing over ceremony of the newly built structure by the Alumni Association of the Oshogbo Grammar School to the Oshun State Government. Correspondent Rafi Hamid reports. Recently, Osho State Government reviewed its education policy back to the usual 634. The government also reversed the single uniform policy and restored the old names of all the schools. Since then, a lot of support has been received by the schools from UNICEF and most importantly, the old students' associations. These projects were innovated by the old students' association of Oshogu Grammar School. They include a laboratory, library, and a block of 10 classrooms. Between 67 and 71, uh, we had a very nice environment. The buildings were at the talk of the, of, the, of, of the society. But over the years, due to lack of attention, most buildings uh, became dilapidated. And uh, it became an eyesore. We recognize the fact that students must have a conducive learning environment for them to be able to concentrate and to perform very well. So it is as a consequence of this that the environment must be made as conducive as possible. This is why we have a bad on uh, rehabilitation of the various uh, classroom blocks. The principal of the school says the gesture will go a long way in improving the conditions of public schools across the states. But we've been thinking of when they come next time, when we'll be having GSS, we've been thinking of where to keep them. But to the glory of God, they have performed wonderfully. Then another thing is the usual of our library. In fact, they've really done well. All along, we've not gotten good, uh, presentable library. But looking at what the old students did, we really appreciate them. The state government is looking forward to receive more of this support from philanthropists and other wealthy individuals. I therefore urge the old students to get involved in activities that will enhance the human capacity development of their students. Our administration regards education as the driver of our sustainable development efforts and the face of our development agenda. We are therefore doing all in our power to provide adequate, quality, equitable, functional and affordable education for our children. The Commissioner assures residents that government will do everything possible to improve the quality of education in the state. Rafi Hamid, TVC News. And operatives of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps in Ondo State have arrested a 29-year-old commercial motorcyclist for using an online application to defraud point-of-sales operators. The suspect was arrested in Akure, the state capital, after defrauding more than five POS operators. The state commander of the NSCDC, Ahmed Abodrimi, explained that the suspect, who claimed to be a commercial motorcyclist, formed the habit of illegal withdrawal of money from the operators. POS operator just noticed that each time he had um, a transaction with uh, him, uh, the, the, the transaction will be refused. So it means that um, the, the guy kept losing money um, uh, three consecutive times, amounting to um, about 55,000 naira that we have just gotten. There are some other things that I had done. Then, um, upon investigation, he also confessed that um, when he, anytime, he, anytime he did it, the money will not actually um, come back to him immediately. It will take some...